This is the 15th video in my series on three-phase power transformers. In this video, I'll be looking at a Y or star zigzag connected transformer. At first encounter, this may seem like a very complex transformer. I first encountered the zigzag transformer earlier in my career as a protection and control engineer working for, at the time, a major utility in Canada called Ontario Hydro. The company at that time was upgrading a local transformer station in Thunder Bay, Ontario, where an older Y Delta transformer set was supplying power to the city of Thunder Bay. As a young engineer, I had not encountered a zigzag transformer before, so this was a major learning experience for me. But I soon discovered that the transformer was not complicated. In fact, on closer inspection, it was made up of a transformer with two sets of secondary windings and therefore not complicated at all. This video will draw back the curtain on this type of transformer and show you just how uncomplicated it is. You can find out more on this subject in my course entitled Electrical Three-Phase Power Transformer Fundamentals. You can access this and my other courses on my stand store at this web address. The star zigzag, or another name for it is the interconnected star transformer, is a transformer that is used to supply unbalanced single, line to neutral, and three-phase loads for three-phase four-wire systems. The following advantages are achieved. The transformer can supply single-phase line to neutral loads while maintaining a stable secondary neutral. The transformer is relatively uh, free of third harmonic residues. Therefore, there is no need for a tertiary winding as required with a star-star transformer. Star zigzag connected transformers can be paralleled with star delta transformers. The phase relationship of the phase to phase voltage, and we're looking at the red to white in this case, is the same as a star delta transformer. That is, there's a 30 degree phase shift from primary to secondary. Yet, a neutral connection is available for relaying and other single phase loads. So let's look at the connections now that make up this star zigzag transformer. The trans in this transformer, each phase is made up of a single primary winding and two secondary windings. One terminal of the primary terminals are connected to the system lines or buses. The other terminals are connected together and form a primary neutral. The phasers look like this, which of course should not be a surprise because we've already seen this before. The secondary of the transformer is made up of two windings on each phase. One set of these windings are connected the same as the previously studied secondary star connections. One terminal of the secondary terminals are connected to the low voltage system. The other terminal of that winding are connected together to form a secondary neutral. And not surprising, the transformer uh, phasers on the secondary on those windings look like this. The other set of these windings are connected like this. The red unspotted terminal of the secondary is connected to the red system lines, buses, etc. The other red spotted terminal is connected to the spotted terminal of the white terminal of the other secondary winding. And added to the existing vectors would look like this. 
the white unspotted terminal of the secondary is connected to the white system lines or buses. The other terminal is connected to the spotted terminal of the blue terminal of the other secondary winding. When added to the existing vectors, would look like this. The blue unspotted terminal of the secondary is connected to the blue system lines and buses. The other blue uns or the other blue spotted terminal is connected to the spotted terminal of the red terminal of the other secondary winding, completing the vectors to look like this. The benefit from converting an older transformer station from a Y delta to a Y zigzag transformer set was the fact that the secondary phase to phase voltages were shifted 30 degrees from the primary phase to phase voltages, thereby matching the previous Y delta transformer. This video is part of my Electrical Technical Information Series. In this series, I will be covering essential topics to help you understand electrical systems. Be sure and stay tuned, as I will also, from time to time, be reviewing electrical products that, in my opinion, are worthy of paying attention to. Some of those products include EcoFlow's Big and Small Standby Generators. This is the best time to try out any of EcoFlow's products because they are having a huge sale starting April 4th and lasting until April 21st. One of those amazing and versatile products is the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, which can be modified to suit any homeowner's needs, operating virtually silent, and when paired with the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel 2 is extremely versatile. The EcoFlow Home Panel 2 ties any and all of your standby power equipment together and will control them efficiently. It will even control your connection to the utility grid to make sure you're only using the least expensive power, switching to your standby power during those expensive time of use rates. In order to view the full range of EcoFlow products, check into this website to browse the full extent of their products. There is no cost or commitment for viewing. To obtain more information on this subject, simply fill out the information requested when you go to this website. Before I end this video, I want to repeat the connection to obtain my free copy of the Ultimate Guide to Residential Standby Generators and receive access to the major April sales on many of the EcoFlow products. Also, here's the connections to obtain a free copy of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets. And finally, here's the link to all of my electrical courses, which are located in my stand store.